All right, what is going on, guys? Pokemon Games here, and today we're gonna do a little quick guide for Subnautica Below Zero. So, start off. Let's start off with this. With new game, either you can play survival mode, which I highly recommend. It's fun. You get the real experience of Subnautica, and it's it's a worthy challenge. Okay. Then you have freedom mode. You know, it's like any survival game, hardcore mode. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one, but hey, if you're really in it, then I I guess so. In creative mode so creative mode's fun because you just keep on building stuff underwater and it's really cool so let's get started with survival all right so i broke this thing up into pieces here for us so we know what to do step by step for the early part early part of the game all right so that's the story stuff. I'm skipping it. Just, you know, you guys want to really enjoy Welcome that for yourselves. All right, start off. Enjoy here we go. Day. You got to pick up everything you see around here. You got a uh, nutrition bar, filtered water, flares. New blueprint synthesized. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm pretty sure that that's pretty much it here. All right, so we pick up flares because it gets really dark when we get in the water. And it's going to have them to pop them once in a while. All right. So let's get out of here now. Okay, so total is two nutrition blocks, which gives you um, health. Made it to four five four six B. Landing was a bit rough, but I don't think Altera spotted me. I hid from their satellite. The drop pod deployed with gusto. I just have to find it and get settled. Then I'll be able to get to work. All right, so let's explain some things. So my bad, the nutrition uh, block helps with food. So on the bottom left hand corner there, you see there's uh, these five dials. So the one that's 100% right now, that's your health. Okay. The second one below that, that is yellow, that's your, your food. Then the third one is your water consumption. And the fourth one, we'll get into that when we dive into the water. And the third one, and this fifth one right here, that's a thermometer. All right. So, let's make the plunge. So as you see here, welcome to Subnautica. So when you dive in, you have about 45 seconds of oxygen in your tank, right? So make sure you time that right, and you come back up for some um, air. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna collect these things called bladderfish. We want about uh, five of them. And if you can, you pick up some of these other fish New too along the way. Because this right here New is how you get food discovered. is from the fish. And the bladder fish helps you get water. But if you're really like at a last resort, like you have no food inventory, but have bladder fish, you go ahead and use the bladder fish as your food source. But I don't recommend that. Because you can just go ahead and have these fishes over here. Oxygen. See? You gotta make sure you watch your oxygen level. But a good thing they tell you, let you know just in case. So let me see, is that about five right there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. So, all right, next thing you want to do also is um, look around for something called, these are different ores you find around. This right here is a limestone um, ore. But they call it outcrop, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so... You have a good chance of getting um, what we call copper in here. But a lot of times you get titanium, which is like the most abundant resource in the game. And it's like one of the most useful resources too in the game to have. It helps do the crafting things. But we want about five copper ores. So let's go swim around here for a little bit, see if we can find some. If we can, it's all right. It's just about, it's RNG at this point. And as you can see here, I'm still trying to collect some more fishes here and there. Because you see the inventory, get used to this thing. Because this shows you how much stuff you can collect. Certain items take up more slots than others. And then you see on the right hand side, this is your equip. So you can actually get upgrades for your um, own wetsuit. So any yeah, anyways, you just want to go ahead, look around, explore. Let's hope we find some things. Oxygen. Let me swim up to the surface. 
So a good tip here, once you land in, you can actually find some copper ore in this spot over here. Help you out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes you find little areas that have like secrets for you. And we'll get to this later on. Alright, so now we collect enough copper. Let's go to our um our, our base right now. Because they give you uh, a base to start off with, so you're okay for a little bit. And you can go craft stuff. So I still need some more titanium though. I'm also aiming for five titanium. Oh no! They took our fish. I didn't know they can do that. The pink these are penguins. And they eat fish. <laughs> wow, it's so funny. Alright, so I gotta watch out for that. This is a different type of ore. This is called this is lead. Lead's really hard to get. Um, but you can find it sometimes in this area. And you want these ribbon, ribbon plants, plants here. Contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Oxygen. Trust me, I'll explain all this stuff, why I collect all this stuff soon, alright? You can collect the stuff now, or you can go to the base, and then collect the stuff afterwards. So it's probably better to have the flare out, or nothing at all. So by pressing B, or you press E on the keyboard, to uh, get rid of your equipped uh, item. But like I said, there's an abundant amount of fish here. Keep this in mind because certain areas don't really have a lot of fish. So you can, you can have a point where you have to go back around different areas and stuff. So for the ribbon plants, you want at least uh, two. It doesn't take up a lot of space, so that's the good part. Oxygen. Alright, so we're going to collect one more thing before we get into our base over here. So we're going to get to the base, and then we're going to go a certain direction um, to show you guys where we're going to collect this item. So here's our landmark, right here, okay? And we're going to do swim this way. Soon you get a compass. But for right now, we're just going to keep on swimming this way. Because you can see in distance what we're looking for. But yeah, man, this game is so much fun. Like, you get really uh, sucked into it when you really start getting down the mechanics of it. It's just so addicting. You just want to keep on playing more and more just to discover what's next, what lies ahead. So we're trying to collect this thing right here. This is what we call a creep vine. Let's see if we can collect two of them. As you can Your see with creep vine, it takes up more space, take up four slots. So you gotta make sure you manage your inventory right. Cause then it gets maxed out. You don't even realize it. So this right here is what you call um, a sea monkey. They'll actually take your items from you if you have it equipped in your hand. Oxygen. Let me see if I can show you. Usually it's your equipment, I don't think it's really that. Uh oh. And if you don't make it up to the top, as you can see there, you, you black out. And then you usually respawn back at your base. But you lose your items in the inventory. So that's why you gotta make sure you maintain what's going on with your uh, oxygen levels. Oh, see? Penguins just eating everything. So, alright. Get back Oxygen. to your base. And we use this thing now called a fabricator. So, fabricator lets you craft items here. So, get used to this. You can see this a lot. So, what you want to do is craft this a silicone rubber. Alright, we need two of those. And it comes with two every time you pick up a creep vine, so... That's very handy and helpful. We want to craft, um, we can craft batteries right now. Because we need two batteries. Let's see. 
Uh, so let's craft some water. Let's craft three. Because usually for me, when I'm about halfway um, of water consumption, I go ahead and craft three of them because that's how much it takes to make it go back all the way up. So I feel like you relatively have around like I say 30 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour of time before your food and your water levels deplete completely. And it tells you how much you get back. You can see here. Food plus 23 and some oxygen levels. So that's why it's great to have nutrient blocks because what they do is they provide you with some of the most food. I usually use these as a last resort if I'm going on a long expedition. Um, and I know that it's going to be hard for me to find food along the way. And this way you get a filtered water after you um, craft the bladder fish and turn them into H2O. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Yep. As Robin just said, we need to craft some items here. So, let's craft the scanner. This will be one of our most useful items. We need all right. I have a scanner. Our survival knife. Air bladder. If you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. Yep, that is very true. And we got the flashlight, but really, I uh, I feel like I don't really need it for early game. Not so much. Not right now. And we gotta get this thing called quartz. Because what quartz do converts into a uh, glass. So what we're gonna do is, now that we have our our items here, let's put it on our um our quick slots. So the knife, the bladder, what else? Um, that's all we have for right now. We have the flares. Okay, okie dokie. Cool, cool, cool. As you can see, running out of light. So, the scanner here. This is how you find, when you find different things, see how it says here? You go scan it. Sometimes, you'll find items. And this is how you discover them. Because you see the item in the world, and you scan it to discover it. But you need a certain amount of that particular item you see scattered across this uh, tundra here just so you can find quartz you can find two of them right here so one should be able to use this and two okay cool So if you want the flashlight, we can go ahead and craft that. All right, so now we have that. And there's nothing in place that makes like the game harder at night or not. I don't recognize anything like that. So it should be okay. I'm trying to see if I can find a fragment here. So the thing is with the fragments is um, it's different for each game because it's like randomly generated. So you might see it in my game, but you won't see it in your world. So again, you just have to look around. And when you scan different creatures, it tells you like their backgrounds. See. And it tells you if you can consume them or if you can't. Oxygen. So I'm going to show you a new item here. We got the air bladder, right? So what you can do is you can bring it back up to the top really quickly. Just in case you get stuck in a pickle. So that definitely comes in handy. Another thing to keep in mind is every single item you use that uses batteries, you have to replace the batteries. So... You gotta make sure you use the item sparingly in early game. Because as you keep on going, it gets harder and harder. 
and you're gonna use items more and more. But there's ways around that. Having spare batteries help, Oxygen. or even having this thing called, um, you get to a point where you can actually recharge your batteries. So, what we're trying to do now, let me get back to the knife here. We want to cut this thing. It's called a creep vine. New blueprint you find it from this. You've seen this already. But yeah, so you can go in that general direction of before, where I showed you, and you can get the creep vine again. Or you can just go look around some more, and you'll find some more creep vines uh, lurking around. You need about two of those. Oxygen. Oxygen. So you're gonna ask me, I know you're wondering why does it, these items have the green bar to them? Cause that's your power for stuff that uses battery and for air bladder you can actually replenish your oxygen wire below. But it only goes up by like 10. So it's not really that ideal but hey anything helps right? So the fabricator now, we're gonna craft fiber mesh. So craft that. Now we have our O2 tank. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. New blueprints synthesized. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. And let's craft some fins so they move fast in the water. Final. Again, you can do stuff a little bit earlier if you want. Because uh, you get more oxygen and uh, fins help you move faster. Finally, some speed. And then right next to it is your storage container. So you can start storing items if you want. Okay, hopefully this helped. I'm going to make more guides on um, crafting certain items for you guys. It's been Poor Man Games. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game. It's really fun. Let me know down below what you think of the game so far. Alright guys. I'll see you next one. Peace out.